Hi, I'm Thomas Ray, and I'm Executive Editor for Wealth Council, LLC. I'm here this morning in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida, at the University of Miami Heckerling Conference, and I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the enhancements we've made to our Wealth Docs uh, document creation system. You can hear more about these enhancements on February 3rd, 2011, at a teleconference call that we're hosting that will include me, Lou Diamond, and Blair Janis. What we've done with the, health doc, with the Wealth Docs uh, document creation system is expanded three, two of our libraries, and we've made general enhancements to some of the other uh, features in the system. In our Irrevocable Trust library, we've added two additional trusts. We've added first our Section 2503C Miners Trust. And of course, this is a trust that allows a donor to make completed gifts to minors under the age of 21, irrespective of the annual exclusion. It's a very powerful tool for clients who want to move property um, to underage beneficiaries, but who don't want to deal with the complexity of other irrevocable trust planning. When you think about marketing, the Section 2503C Trust also gives you an opportunity to reach out to trial attorneys because this trust provides a very flexible alternative to um, court-appointed conservatorship or guardianships that might have to be set up for a minor who is the plaintiff, the successful plaintiff, in some kind of a personal injury suit. So this is a very powerful trust. Uh, that we hope uh, a lot of our users will be able to employ in their practices. And the second trust in our irrevocable trust system is the new Health and Education Exemption Trust. This is a trust that takes advantage of the Special Health and Education Expense Exemption under Section 2503E. It's a trust that also is used primarily for generation skipping transfer, ta ta uh, transfer tax planning because it allows a parent to take money, move it into a trust that's going to be used not only for their children, but for their grandchildren and other future generations uh, for their health and educational expenses. So this is a very powerful tool uh, that our, our uh, members can use to employ for their clients to help them meet the continuing needs as they see it for their uh, children and grandchildren and other descendants' educational needs. It is a terrific alternative to strategies that are so restrictive like the Section 529 plans. Another enhancement that we've made is we have brought in essentially a new limited liability company operating agreement into the uh, trust creation system. In the past, we had a limited uh, liability company agreement, but its focus was primarily for um, estate tax planning to receive some, perhaps some uh, asset protection planning or perhaps to attain some valuation discounts. This LLC includes all of those prior functions, but what we've done is we've made it an LLC that can now be used not only for estate planning, but also for business planning purposes. Some of the features that it includes is it allows a variety of management structures, it allows single member LLCs, it permits taxation as S-corporations, C-corporations, um, partnership tax strategies, disregarded entities. So it is a very robust and powerful tool uh, for our members. And finally, the last thing we've done doesn't relate to anything legal, but it relates to the software itself. And we've built in some functionality updates in the software. One of the things we've done is we've changed our naming conventions. Always in the past with our software, as you went through the, the dialogue, it would ask you the names of the different parties who were going to be involved in the different roles in the trust. And that's the way that names were entered. But now, Wealth Docs will allow you to enter all the names of people who are going to be involved in the trust at the very start. And then as you go down through the interview, you'll be able to pick those names to use in those particular places. Now, this is important for two reasons. Number one, a lot of you have requested having this kind of a naming convention in the trust. But it's important, number two, because it adds to a second potential ability uh, to improve the functionality of our software by allowing us to 
uh, have the software interact with third-party software such as Time Matters, uh, Amicus, uh, ProLaw, because this naming function now will allow those two, and we have the potential now to link our software to those other softwares uh, to make the use of, of wealth docs with other systems much, much easier. Well, those are the updates that we've made to the wealth docs document creation system. Um, we hope that you'll employ those updates, that you will enjoy them, and that you will find them particularly helpful to you in your practices. Thank you very much.